Okay, welcome to Electron Online, and now we're going to learn how to find the half-life of a second-order reaction. In other words, uh, how long does it take for half the reactants to have disappeared and changed into the products? So to do that, again, here's our graph. Here we have a linear relationship between the time and the inverse of the concentration. And the, the reason why it's the inverse is because it's a second-order reaction. And so here we have the equation that determined the relationship between the time and the concentration of the reactants. And so now what we're trying to find is what is the half time when uh, half of the concentration has disappeared. So that means that the remaining concentration is now half of what it was when the reaction started. So we're going to take this and plug that into our equation here and change time to the half time, the half lifetime. So when we do that, we get the following equation. We get one over, instead of writing the concentration of A, we're going to write half the original concentration of A. So this becomes one half the original concentration of A minus one over the concentration of A, or the original concentration of A, which is equal to K times the half-life time to get to half the original concentration. And now what we're trying to do is find out what this is equal to. So let's simplify this a little bit. First we'll put the two on top, so we get two divided by the concentration initially of A minus one over the initial concentration of A is equal to K times the half-life time. There we go. Now this is easy to, to uh, subtract because 2 minus 1 is 1, so this gives us 1 over the original concentration of A is equal to K times the half-life time. And so now when we divide both sides by K, we get the following result. So now we say the half-life, the time that it takes to go to half the original concentration of the reactants is equal to 1 over the reaction constant K times the original concentration of A. And that's how you find the half-life or the, ha the time that it takes for half the reactions to disappear into the reaction uh, with a second-order equation. That's how we do that.